Hello all, and welcome to tonight's beer review, which I'm dubbing the beer, Busy Beer Review, because I just got all my Christmas shopping done, um, went to the post office, and um, yeah, I went to the doctor, in which I did not get a very good, um, good notice, but yeah, so, um, well, well, not, eh, nothing to, I don't know what it is yet, but we'll find out. But until then, there's beer. <laughs> and what are we reviewing today? Well, as you know, I mostly review local beers, unless I'm doing something really special. And we are going to be reviewing Maui Bruins Limited release. Uh, this was canned in October. Oh, on my birthday. How interesting. So, pretty recently. And this is the Maui Lime Lager. So, Mexican style lager with local limes. This is 4.8 ABV. And uh, if I remember, it's either 27 or 30 IBU. <clears throat> so, yeah. If Kini Blonde is their sort of answer to Heineken, Green Bottle Ale, um, and the Pueo Pale Ale is their response to like Mirror Pond, and um, I forget what their uh, Pilsner is, is a response to a good Pilsner. Uh, I guess this is their response to people who like Corona. So local style limes are slightly different than uh, what you might know on the mainland. Local limes, and regular limes don't grow here. We have what are called Calamansi limes. Um, they probably have different names in different countries. Calamansi comes from Philippines, that's the name. But it grows throughout all of, so <coughs> all of Southeast Asia, and they're much smaller. And I would venture um, that they're a little bit more while they're more tart tasting than regular limes, they're not as acidic. So we're going to be doing this in my rarely used and rarely seen Pilsner glass. Uh, I had to go and give this one a deep cleaning because it uh, looks like some roaches got into there and uh, had themselves a poo party. So um, yeah, but it's all clean now and ready to be filled with beer. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, why? Because I really want to feel 4.8, and I don't feel 4.8 on an empty stomach, man. So let's pour this out. got a nice bright golden yellow, very pale yellow, nicely carbonated, as you can see here, with a fairly fizzy to frothy white head. It smells of lime, obviously. Definitely calamansi lime as opposed to regular lime. Calamansi lime has a little bit more of a herbaceous edge to it as well. Wet stone. Somewhat crackery malts. And just a slight hint of floral hops. Very light, very refreshing on the palate, exceedingly refreshing on the palate. This feels good right now. Not overly sour. Lime shows up throughout. It's sort of a base note. It's not really high up, not very effervescent, but very remains very much as a base note. Just um, this sort of lime taste, greenness, 
and it, and it seems to lie more in the malts than you know, up in the froth. What malts are there are definitely crackery to bready, so slightly sweet malts. Clean finish, um, with a very slight bitter in, bitterness to it uh, that doesn't really have much dimension, just sort of cleansing bitterness. Yeah, this is definitely a lawnmower or a hot summer day be hot summer day beer. Very crushable, as you can see. I am literally crushing it right now. Probably because I am incredibly thirsty for some reason. Um, I don't know why I'm so thirsty. All in all, pretty enjoyable. Not really complex. There's not much complexity there. It's basically a well done um, light lager with lime added, but it is hella better than that light struck skunky Corona. I definitely say that um, going along the lines of Mexican lagers, this is definitely more. I would say towards the Pacifico Tecate side, and I like Pacifico and Tecate when it comes to Mexican lagers, uh, you know, pale lagers. Uh, my favorite Mexican beer is, of course, Bohemia, which is a true pilsner, um, closely followed by uh, closely followed behind by uh, Negro Modelo, which is a sort of modified Dunkel. It's um, not a true Dunkel because it does have adjuncts added, but I'm rambling on. So this is, so Mexican lager style is kind of like becoming a style in itself, and this is a wonderful example of it. Refreshing, light, delicious, not complex, but that's not what you're here for. You're here for something that is light and refreshing, and this has definitely got it. No off taste notes, this great, unique spin with the calamansi lime. That tastes like calamansi lime as opposed to regular lime. And I'm really digging it, and I'm saying, and I'm really enthused about this because this is not a style that I really enjoy all that much, and they did a wonderful take on it. So if this is your bomb, if you're a, you're not a craft beer drinker, or you want to introduce someone who mostly drinks Bud Light or Corona, this is the local beer to kind of go and say, hey, try this one, and because it's really darn refreshing. And even on an empty stomach, I'm not even catching a buzz off of this at all. But that's okay, because it's really hitting the spot still. Because not all beer is to go and catch a buzz. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah. Great session lager. Great uh, crossover beer for people who are not into craft beer and great for people who like calamansi lime. So, why don't you give this one a shot while it's still available. I originally tried it on draft at the Maui Brewing Company and it, diff it had a little bit more of a lime kick, a little bit more of a slightly more of a lime kick and sour, um, sour, sour taste to it, but not by much. So it is slightly different on draft. Uh, give it a shot, why don't you? That's your beer review. That's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers. Or salute. Or what would you say in Hawaiian? You, you know, I've done hundreds of these reviews, and I haven't even realized what the te cheers is in Hawaiian. Uh, that's really bad because I am part Hawaiian and I live in Hawaii, so I gotta go and find that out, and I'll tell you. Cheers.